Hi, my name is Donna Johnson. I'm Senior Vice President of Marketing with CradlePoint. Thanks very much for inviting me here today to talk about 2023 um, and kind of what I'm seeing uh, happening in 2023. So I think many of us know we're sort of going into next year with a lot of global uncertainty. Um, businesses are still recovering from COVID. We still see some supply chain disruptions, although that's getting a little better. Many people think a recession is looming. Obviously, inflation's a bit high, um, and yet employment rates are still high. Um, and it, we're finding it hard sometimes to find qualified employees. So, you know, we're seeing really a mixed bag on the macro front, um, some, some good indicators and some bad indicators. And businesses are trying to navigate that uncertainty. They know they need to be more agile, productive, and efficient and profitable if they're going to make it through this time. Um, they need to be able to automate where they can because of the difficulty in attracting employees um, and also create an attractive environment for employees to work in, to communicate, and things like that. Um, so, you know, I think as a result of that, we're seeing a few different um, uh, predictions, uh, largely around the networking and technology space. So number one, we think this year, they're really going to turn to 5G as, an away, as a way to achieve uh, what they need. So becoming more efficient, becoming more agile. Um, 5G is going to be a way that's going to allow them to do it. It allows them to increase their flexibility open business where they can, um, attract employees by allowing them to work from anywhere, um, and basically do more with less. And they're going to use 5G as the foundation for that. As they continue their digital transformation and innovation journey, they're gonna really look to 5G as a way of powering that. So I think that's that's one thing that, that we definitely see increasing within 2023. We also see that as 5G is powering this transformation, um, 5G alone is not going to address all the challenges. In fact, in some ways, it's going to open up new challenges, particularly around security and things. For every advance that 5G offers, um, flexibility, more IoT, working at home, um, we see additional, let's say, opportunities opening up, um, additional problems maybe even, um, that they're going to have to deal with. And so the second sort of prediction that we see is that the technology that they use for uh, application identification, SD-WAN um, security is gonna have to change. It's going to have to adapt to this 5G world. It's gonna have to become um, more centralized, more cloud-based and neutral to where people are accessing the network from, for example. And finally, we think this is the year that people are gonna look strongly at private networks. Um, private networks offer that same agility that 5G does, but within a secure bubble or in places where they can't get connectivity elsewhere but does allow them to expand beyond the restrictions from, that they get with Wi-Fi. So we really think so, this will start to be an enterprise land technology of choice. So those are three things we think 2023 is gonna bring us. Um, I can't wait to see how the year actually plays out and, and how true any of those are. Um, and with that, thank you very much and have a happy new year.